We're going to go, we're going to do research, we're going to look in our category. You guys can look now, right? Like you go to Amazon, most people don't even know that's out there. There's a wish list globally for what people want. Uh, they're telling you what they want. So just give it to them, right? You could sell them right now. So that's the idea. Like we're going to be starting to do things like that as we get going and we understand our niche and then we start building out our, our lead giveaway. We are going to be finding things that our niche would love to take. And one thing I want to stress here, because we've been in the space, even guys in, in my company, even though you're doing a giveaway, which is something free, the people that you're going to be targeting to be signing up for this are people that are buyers. These people are not just the freebie people out in the world that are just going to sign up for everything because they want free stuff. That is not who you want. That is not who you're going to be targeting. You're going to be targeting people that are avid buyers of whatever your niche is. That's the idea. That's how you're going to start to get sales. You're going to get people to buy. They're going to start you know, hanging out with you. They want to follow somebody and it's going to be you. As far as the niche is concerned, assume that you guys are feeling good about it. If you're not, we're not going to pick it for you, but we can sit down and have conversations with you. We can help you out. We can start to brainstorm about what you're doing and why you're choosing something and even help you find yourself if you need to find yourself. It's pretty cool. The best part about this is you start to learn a lot about who you are and what you like. I was going to put something in here, but I did not do it where you would take a personality test. If you take the same test today as you did six months ago, it could be different. It's like we talked about the first day, change, right? Evolution, things change, nothing lasts forever. You change, you as a person change. You might live through something that changes you and your thoughts and your values and things that you think about. So that's important for you guys to understand who you are as a person and that'll help you figure out how to become a better marketer because you're going to understand what you like and don't like. That's the cool thing about growing up and getting older. You become experienced and go through things. And if you, if you really open your eyes and pay attention, then you can learn from experiences that you have or somebody else has. The reason why you guys are here is that you're going to try to learn from the experiences I've had, my team has had, and things that we've learned that will fast track your guys' success. You know, our job is to show you that, is to, is to teach you on things that have not worked for us and things that have worked for us and show you how to get there. I want to spend some more time on this. And I think the niche and the audience and the avatar all kind of go together. That's why I'm spending another day here because it's so important. This thing is what will define you. At the end of the day, when you figure out who your niche is, you want to know right now, who is the audience? Who is your avatar? This has been really hard for me. I got asked this question when I first started and I was like making up answers. <laughs> I had no idea. I didn't know who I wanted to target. So if you guys feel that way, don't freak out. And to be honest, I'm still working towards figuring out who I want to target. The feedback that I get when I work with people tell me who is right for me. Like what makes sense? Who do I like working with? That's what you guys need to figure out. Who do you like to work with? You guys already know stuff here. You just kind of have to get it together and figure out, put all the pieces in, in line. I'm going to go through this quickly with you guys and give you an idea because then tonight's homework is going to be around you guys filling this form out for yourself. When you're picking your avatar, when you're figuring out who your avatar is, the more specific you get, the better. If someone asks me who my avatar is and I say someone that uh, wants to be in digital marketing, got some experience and lives in the US, it's very, very big. That doesn't work because when I go to buy an ad or look to target somebody, who am I targeting? What am I targeting them with? Right. The whole idea here is to understand who you're talking to, who you're working with to make your life easy so then you know what you can give them. A good analogy of that is let's pretend that you have a brother or sister and your brother or sister has something that you want and you know they're not going to give it to you. However, you know what your brother and sister like. Let's pretend like your brother or sister likes Bon Jovi, right? And you want something that from them that's really important to you. If you go out and get them Bon Jovi tickets and you give that to them as a gift, and you ask them in return to help you out, it's highly likely that they will. The whole idea, I can't stress this enough, is you want to find things that are already working and you just want to model it. You just want to make it yours, maybe a little better. That's the whole idea. Instead of being someone who's trying to figure out how to do something that's never been done before, you don't see it anywhere in the world, and then you're hoping that you can now get it to a place where someone recognizes it. I will tell you that if it's something that no one's ever done, even if you're right, by the time you get people to believe in it, then what's going to happen is some big whopper is going to come and knock you over and kick you out 
and run run with it. A prime example of that is Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. If you watch like those, like how cryptocurrency evolved and how that worked out, there was all these guys that started it in the beginning. There was all these guys. And if you look at how those guys started the cryptocurrency and then when it started to take off, look at who lasted once that it started to get mainstream in the world. All these big kahunas were coming in and all the guys that started it and fought hard to get there, they never got to appreciate it. They did the hard work for everybody. And then these big corporations and, and people with big wallets came in and just ran them over. That's the thing. Like You don't want to be doing something where you're going to make something up. You just want to find something that's working and then apply it to you. Now, it could be in your industry or it could be in a different industry that you're just going to apply to your business, right? One thing I've done in the past when I was looking for marketing headlines is I would Google top 50 commercials during the Super Bowl. And, you know, like that's that's a big thing. Like the Super Bowl, uh, people are paying millions of dollars to be in it. The whole world's watching and, you know, everybody loves it. Like people watch the Super Bowl just for the commercials. It's the only place in today's age, everybody DVRs or Netflixes, but Super Bowl, they watch and they watch the commercials and they look for them. And that's like a big thing. And, you know, when you look at that, you try to find what were the best that worked? What did the world respond to. And then what you do is you take the best and then you figure out how to apply it to your business. So you're taking something you already know works. It's just how do you make it work for you? And that's how you get into with your niche and then your audience and your avatar. Let me dive in here a little bit and, and talk to you guys a little bit about how you do this. What you want to do is you want to name the people that are your avatars, literally like to the point where you're going to say it's, it's Mike and it's Nancy. You might even want to go on the internet and type in all of the things that you're going to write down here. And then you're going to then look for a picture of Mike. And then you can print that out so that you can have a picture in your mind of who your male avatar is, who your female avatar is, whoever you're targeting. You need to know this. The more you understand that, and I can't stress it enough, guys, if you apply it to your own life, think about the Bon Jovi tickets. Think about ways that you get what you want in life. When you are outside the internet and you're working with people and you're trying to get people to do certain things for you, you figure out what can I use to get what I want. That's marketing. That's what we're doing here. What do you use to get somebody to give you an email address? What am I trading? Instead of you going in a store and, and taking a dollar and buying a pack of gum, for a buck and that's a trade what you're doing is you're trading for whatever you're going to give the person whether it's information valuable information or you're giving them an entry into like an awesome giveaway that they want they're going to give you something in return now what is it you want do you want a, a cell phone do you want a click do you want a, an email address what is it you're looking for for us we're looking for them to give us their email address we want to build up our database we want to build up people in our group in our database so that we can now start to understand who they are, what they want, do product research, ask them questions, and then you're going to monetize them based off of all of these answers that they give to you. So we go through this. All right. So the avatar, let's say we have uh, Mike and Nancy. Now you start going through things. You start off. All right. General. And this is going to change all the time for you, possibly. If, you know, you'll see where you're at and go but like, okay, how old are the people that you're promoting to? Right. Like for me, how old are the people that I'm looking for? You know, it's like I struggle with this, right? Because I thought originally it was like, all right, let's release the golden handcuffs. I was going to target somebody that was just down on their luck. They hate their job. They're miserable commuting. They have kids. They've been in business for 20, 30 years and they're just not happy with where they are. They're just financially not happy. The life that they live, they don't like. They hate that they have to answer to somebody. Two weeks vacation, all of that. So I thought I wanted that. And I quickly realized that that's not my avatar. What I realized was really the avatar, especially if you're coaching and trying to get involved with training and coaching and working with people that are like you, what you're doing is you're working with people that were you 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. So you're searching for you. And that sounds silly because you might be like, oh, I'm stubborn or I don't want to hang out with me. Like I'm a pain in the ass, which I am. It's a little bit of a joke, but the truth of the matter is you're looking for people right now that are actually going to be you. And those are the kind of people that have your values, the people that have your desires, things that you wanted when you were 20 years old, when you were 25 years old, right? Things like that. And you start thinking about it when you realize who that person is, now you can answer this. What kind of car does that person drive? What kind of car did I drive when I was 22? I could think about that. 
you know, it was like commuting. Those are the kind of things that you want to be doing to figure out and nail down exactly who this person is. Russell Brunson, when he's out there and he's selling ClickFunnels, ClickFunnels is a software, right? So like what he needs to do is he needs to apply different things to different people in different industries in different ways because people are going to consume content in different ways. They're also going to consume content in different ways in one, the message, but two, some people like to read. It's a blog post. Some people like to listen, podcast, radio, digital, where it's going on an email. Some people are all over social media and that's where you're going to connect with your audience. You want to hit all those those numbers, but you want to figure out of your avatar, where are they? And in our scenario, we really, we want people that are going to be on Facebook. When you guys are looking for your niche, you want people that are on Facebook, on Instagram, because we're going to start using part of that platform to be talking to them and communicating with them. I just recommend that, you know, you have at least enough of an audience, a million people you can target to, you can talk to that are there. You picked your niche, you had your three things, and now we're going through. So how old is your person? The gender? Are you going after male and female? Or are you going after just males? What is your business about? And don't limit it. Just because you're a woman and you enjoy speaking to women, that doesn't mean there's not men out there that want to learn from you. You know, don't limit yourself. That was the whole idea of when you're picking your niche to try to not find something that's seasonal. You want to put yourself in a position for success. That's the idea of where we're at. That was the things when you're asking your questions of what you're doing. And it's always important that even when you're in your niche, it's okay to continue to ask yourself, am I there? Because remember, things change. It's okay to pivot, right? You're not quitting. You're pivoting. You're being smart, right? You got to know when it's just not working. I don't care how much money you've invested in it. At some point, you got to be like, I got to stop being stubborn and realize that this is not the place to be. So always be asking yourself these questions. And if you guys come up with other things that you think might be useful for this, Tell me, because it's always interesting to add things if we can figure that out. But once you start going through it, you're going to answer your general questions here. So you're going to want to know age, gender. You want to know where they live. You're going to want to know what kind of relationship they're in. You want to know, do they have a family? If they have a family, how many kids? Do they have an education? Have they gone to school? Did they go to high school and dropped out? College? What kind of education do they have? Maybe they're an MD that's just miserable in their life and they don't like what they're doing, but they're a rocket scientist, a brain surgeon. They can now come and share their knowledge with the world. That might be a way for you guys to, to work. And then if I was able to get a hold of someone that smart and I'm able to teach them my skill sets, I'd love to see what they do. Could they do amazing things once they understand the keys to the, the internet? Education, occupation, what are they doing? The people you're talking to, do they work? You know, if you're in like the wealth industry where I'm trying to create wealth for you guys, trying to help you guys in your business, right? Like, what are you guys up to? Well, who am I talking to? My talking to someone is nine to five and now I have this thing that's going on at three o'clock in the afternoon. That doesn't work, right? I, they can't participate. They can't engage with me right now. That sucks, right? I mean, you could still do it. You could still do things at night and, and get it going, but you got to know who you're speaking to. This is about understanding how to be recession proof, understanding how to drive a customer. Just because we're using the affiliate space, we're using that as a, as a vehicle, right? You can still be a knowledge expert here. You don't have to be an affiliate. You don't have to go out and drive traffic for the people. You want to because what you're going to do is you're going to use affiliate offers, affiliations with advertisers to fund your business, to fund when you start building your list. That's how you're going to cover your costs and hopefully be profitable. That's even the best of both worlds. That's the idea. You go down here, you go through your professional figure out what's going on. You try to understand who they are. For me, like people that commute, right? Andrew's in this group and he can appreciate this. And it's it's rough. If you start adding up the amount of time, if you live in New York and New Jersey area, there's a lot of rush hour. You could be in the car for three to four hours a day at times. Then you get into health, right? What do they eat? Do they exercise? How many times do they exercise? How much sleep do they get? Do they spend time for themselves? What's their outlook on life? For me, I want to work with people that are believers, that have an outlook on life, that they're positive. They're half glass full kind of people. They're willing to go the extra mile. Hobbies, interests, likes, dislikes. Facebook gives you a lot of this information. The media kits, I showed you guys some media kits yesterday. What that does is it allows people to understand who their audience is because they want you to buy advertising through them. Hobbies. What do they like to do? Do they like to listen to music, play golf, ride on motorcycles, plant flowers, keep going at it, right? Think about what you do. Me, I love baseball. I'm competitive. I like playing any sport. I love watching football on Sundays, right? I enjoy that. I love being with my kids, right? I love spending time with my kids. I love watching movies. I'm a movie guy, right? So now I start thinking about, well, okay, that's what I like. Does my avatar like that? And if they do, 
Well, then how do we touch them on something? That's it. This is what it's doing. It's just us trying to just relate to somebody somehow. That's why stories are so important. That's why he gets into this whole thing about you talking and telling stories to relate to who you are, what you do, because you guys will relate to that. What kind of clothes do they wear? Where do they shop? Where do they spend their time, their free time? So what movies do they watch? What books do they read? What music do they listen to? What magazines do they read? What podcasts are they listening to? Do they have favorite websites? Those websites that I showed you last night, you want to have websites where you're going to be checking. As you create different competitor sites, you want to build up the ability to find all these websites relatively quickly. What is your avatar searching for? What are they plugging in? What, what words are they plugging in? What are they plugging in for YouTube? What are they searching for? What do they like to watch? All of these things last night were things that I was showing you that you're going to use, tools you're going to use. Are they on social media? Do they follow certain people? Do they use Instagram, Facebook? You want to know what they're doing and you want to have a plan ahead of time on how you're going to go about marketing because there's going to be certain ways that you want to do things. If you think about it, when you're with your friends, you know there's some friends where if you were going on a trip and you had 10 of your friends that you grew up with, and then you have this one guy who's coming with you or this one gal, and she doesn't know anybody. And now you got to go split up into groups. You know that in your 10 friends, there's a certain amount of friends that are going to welcome that person. They're going to be nice to them. They're going to care about what they're doing. They're going to include them. And then you're going to have some of your other friends that are just all about them. They're selfish. They don't care. And they'll just go and do their thing and leave that person by themselves, not even think or wince about it. That's you knowing your friends, knowing who they are. It's the same thing. I think I took enough of you guys' time up for the day. Niche avatar. This is really, really important. Once you get all of this information down, start searching on the internet for people with all of these characteristics and see if you can find a picture of somebody that you would see say is your avatar. In your mind, you want to think about who is that Joey that I'm promoting to? You will take and leverage people in your space and use their stuff and give away their stuff. You can go and buy something of somebody's and then use it as a giveaway. All right, there's no reason why you can't do that. I could go buy a t-shirt and then give away that t-shirt. I can go buy a book and then give away that book. A $500 value of this Warren Buffett book, come here, sign up. I'm giving it away to one person. Boom. Now, if you do this, this, and this, I'll give you extra entries into the giveaway. Boom, boom, boom. All the people that are going to click on that are people that are interested in Warren Buffett. You guys get it? So now I'm building a list up about Warren Buffett followers because those are the people that I I would hypothetically be interested in, right? All right, guys, hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please ask me. Please ask in the group. I'll try to answer them as best we can. If you have any advice for me on anything, I'm open for it. But otherwise, I appreciate you guys showing up. It means a lot to me that you guys are putting the time in. The more time you put in, the more time I'll put in. You guys will motivate me to want to work hard for you. And you guys are motivating me. I mean, it's making me want to do extra things. So this is awesome. That's it. Look in. We'll send you out when it's done. I promise you that it'll be updated much sooner. 